Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to set up password hash synchronization as backup for ADFS in Azure AD Connect. So we will see the steps in setting up the password hash sync as a backup for uh, and failover for ADFS, right? And we will show you how you enable password hash sync as the primary authentication method if ADFS has failed or become unavailable. Right. So let me just log on to my server or domain controller on which I have Azure AD Connect installed and then we'll enable PHS or the password hash sync in Azure AD Connect. I'm logged on to the portal now. I will connect to my server on which I have Azure AD Connect. I'll do this. NSTSC. Hit enter. And in the password, yes, and I am connected. Now you will come here, you select the <coughs> Change user sign in. Right, you will enter the username and password here. And it will try to connect. Go back, go back, customize synchronization options, click next, password, come to next, I have selected these OUs to be synced. Next, under the optional features, check password hash synchronization and click next. Okay, it'll take some time and on the on this screen where it says ready to configure, click configure. That's it, you're done. Password hash synchronization will now occur and can be used as a backup if ADFS becomes unavailable. See the configuration is complete. Now we can log on into the Azure or Office 365 portal to verify that the accounts are getting synced. Okay, now if you want to switch back to uh, password hash synchronization and before you start, consider under which conditions should you make the switch. Don't do not make the switch for temporary reasons like a network outage or a minor ADFS problem or a problem that affects a subset of your users, right? So if you decide to make the switch because fixing the problem will take too long, do the following. And always note that it will take some time for the password hashes to synchronize to Azure AD. This means that it may take up to three hours for the synchronization to complete and before you can start authenticating using the password hashes. Now, if you go to the exit and you click on here, click on configure and you click on change user sign in. Next, enter the On the user sign in, if you will see, select password hash synchronization. 
and your Azure AD domains will be converted from federal federated to managed authentication. Confirm this by selecting it. Right, so you click on this, click on next. Right, so enter a domain admin account to configure your domain for this. You click on here. You do. <coughs> on and you do this right here next and you click on configure right and then you can go on and test uh, sign in with one of your users then you can if you want to switch back to federation you can follow the same process log on to azure ad connect and uh, i'll show you let it complete i'll pause the video and come back right now the configuration is complete you can click on exit and if you want to switch back to federation you click on here it will launch You click on configure, click on change user sign in, click on next, enter the password. It will take its time to load. Where it says uh, password, password hash. Synchronization, click on Federation with ADFS and click Next. Type in the username. Now you do Sir John because this user has the domain admin and the enterprise admin. This is my on prem domain. Then you select every other thing again. Select the domain. Next. Next. It is doing it quickly this time because those components were already there. Then we did it initially. Right. Click on configure. It will take some time and then it would complete. And after that, you would need to reset the ADFS and the Azure Trust. Click Next. Verified Federation Connectivity. I don't have a record, so you can click on Exit. Okay. This is how you do it. I hope this was uh, informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.